Live. Talk back with best-selling author and commentator, Bob Larson. Good afternoon, America. Welcome to Talk Back with Bob Larson. I'll be here for the next hour talking about what's on my mind and hearing from you about what's on your mind. Seated across from me, live in the studio today, is Mr. Boyd Rice. Mr. Rice is a Satanist, correct? Absolutely. I'm a Satanist, social Darwinist, and a whole lot of other things. You're an occult fascist? Yes. You are a satanic neo-Nazi. No, not precisely. We don't use uh, fascist in the terms of uh, it being political, just more to represent it being the polar opposite of democracy. We see democracy as being basically the twin of Judeo-Christian values. And we see that they both reach this point of critical mass, and they're both falling apart. And it's time to bring back more bestial sort of values. Bestial. Yes, animal. like the true part of man. Man is an animal. Man is absolutely an animal. You walked into this building a little while ago. The first thing you saw when you got off the elevator was a cross. Mm -hmm. You've listened to me. You know where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. You don't but start... This... I, I, what do you feel like walking in here and sitting across on this, this board? You, Mr. Satanist. <laughs> uh, I think uh, one of the reasons I enjoy your program is because I think you're an absolute Satanist because you're, you're making a living off these people who are weak and confused and you're dominating them and you're making a good time of it i am dominating weak and confused people yes yes anton levey once said something very interesting he said that uh pt barnum said there's a sucker born every minute so my followers and are suckers no he said he said with the population explosion now it's probably more like a thousand per minute and i think they're all tuned into this show you're like the modern pt barnum i'm pt you're dressed in black Yes. Head to foot. Yes. You got a, I, I saw your belt, you got a skull on your belt, mm -hmm. symbol of death. What about the cane you carry? It's, uh, it's a cane like Barnabas Collins and Dark Shadows. It's a wolf head cane. I like wolves. I like the qualities of wolves. Uh -huh. I like their savagery, their independence. You don't have any uh, secret underwear or anything? <laughs> no, not no. today I don't. Not today you don't. What do you mean, secret underwear? I don't know. I just maybe Did you got... wear some sort of secret no, underwear that you weren't telling your followers about? <laughs> Tal talisman of some kind or uh, secret symbols or anything on you anywhere? You're I just... have talismans all over me. Here, here. Yeah? Here, I have... Uh... Describe it. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. You just, just, you just opened his shirt. You, is that the tattoo? Tattoo of a large Totenkopf, death head. You have a tattoo on your left breast. Of? Of a death head. Of a death head. Are you a nice man? I'm one of the nicest men you'll probably ever meet. You? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would want my daughter to date you. I would want to walk down a dark alley with you following me. Mm, maybe yes, maybe no. I'm sure your daughter would have a good time with me. Thank God I don't have a daughter. I wouldn't want her dating you. <laughs> Do you have any morals? Um, it depends on what you mean by morals. I have my own set of morals. I have a law that I follow and that I never deviate from. And if you call that moral, yes, but not in the sense that uh, what you mean of believing in good and evil. You say anything that contributes to depopulating the earth is good. War is good. AIDS is good, mass murder is good, gang violence is good, crack cocaine is good. I didn't say crack cocaine is good, I said the crack cocaine problem is good. Well, you, yes, said anything... same, you did say mass murder is good and AIDS is good. Insofar as they depopulate the earth. I see humanity in its current state is like a pestilence. It's completely contrary to life on earth. Anything that thins it down, I think, is a good thing. There's too, much peop there's too many people on the planet, and what they're doing to the planet is bringing about its death rattle. Now, you uh, are a <coughs> musician? Yes, I'm, I'm a recording artist, a composer. I've been putting out records for the past 13 years or so. Your group is called? Non. Non what? Just non. Which means? It means whatever meaning I put into it. And this symbol you have, this, uh, describe the symbol. The wolf's angle? 
Yeah. It uh, represents the balance point between what you would call good and evil, between life and death, between creative force and destructive force, representing the fact that these two things are intertwined together and you can't separate them because they permeate all of life, all of nature. Now, this is your music. Closer to the mic, there, please. This, this is this is you. Mm -hmm. Do you want total war? Throw out Christ. Bring back Thor. Smite your foes that they may die. Splatter blood across the sky. Yes. This I don't think that, that man. I don't think anybody wants you dating their daughter. Do you want total war? Throw out Christ. Bring back Thor. Yes, bring back Thor. Bring back every natural instinct that is uh, innate to man. Every healthy instinct. Everything that ever bettered him towards uh, positive evolution. Why don't you just admit what you are? You are just a flat-out, bigoted, Nazi, racist criminal <laughs> who criminal. wants to destroy anybody and anything that would not adhere to your Aryan eugenics philosophy. Is, is that, I'm not saying those are my beliefs, but is that a crime? Is it criminal to think something different than what you think? Wouldn't, wouldn't you be one of these new McCarthyists who'd, who would put people like me in camp no. if you had the power? But is it moral? You want it's blood, natural. What, whose blood do you want splattered across the sky? Nobody's in specific, nobody specifically. How do I know it's not mine? Well, it could be if that's the way uh, things fall. I gather my death, my demise, would not necessarily bring sorrow to your countenance? Well, I, I wouldn't be able to listen to your radio program every couple months and you know, you'd, you'd, make you'd, my you'd, world a little bit dimmer. You'd be deprived of one of your unique forms of entertainment if I weren't around. Yes, absolutely. You want to throw but out no. Christ? You want to throw out Christ? Absolutely, I want to throw out Christ. You hate Christ? No, I just think it's a pestilence that's been here too long. 2,000 years has been polluting the uh, mind of the West. It's time to return to the values that uh, were part of the West before Christ was introduced. I have to take a break. <laughs> 